What's going on, Clicks? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back. Bow, bow, bow to you with another bidget, you feel me? All right, we have this we time. Live, you know 72 saying? hours on ultra luxury sleeper train, the blue train by, um, give the proper shout out, Trek Trendy. Uh, the guy last time that we checked out where he was flying the super first class, as we call it, with the bed, yeah. and the, the whole lounge area and stuff like that. Well, there's a train out there, luxurious trains out there that yeah, offers, this is live. Yeah, offers similar experiences. So we're going to check this out, man. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. We're going to get in our little fancy bag. And uh, I don't know, man. We may be riding on a on a nice uh one of these trains one of the on one of these days i would definitely love to to be to able to travel the the, yeah. the open road or the countryside nice views and sceneries and you know getting that luxury living man as yeah. as people deserve so Let's get on it, man. It's going to be a good one. Let's check this out. Today, I'm taking this ultra luxury sleeper train for 72 hours across an entire country. I'm God staying damn. in a luxury suite, complete with a comfy bed and an ensuite bathroom. Oh. Yes, you see correctly. That's a bath on a train. Okay. That's tough, bro. This nigga is on a train taking a bubble bath. <laughs> That's... That's tough, fam. I ain't going to hold you. That's live. Drinking the finest wine. Yeah, bro. He, uh, mm. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Pip, pip. Join me and my dad as we live on four oh, days. Oh, that's that's Fine dining in the restaurants, relaxing in the observation car, and propping up the bar in the evenings. Let's go and check in for one of the world's most luxurious trains in South Africa's sunny Pretoria. Oh, that's in South Africa. All right, now look. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't they do this more? What do you mean? Like a, a, a instead of a cruise, but a train like this, where you can go and mingle with people, party in certain uh, parts of the train, mm -hmm. go back to where you you sleeping at. Mm -hmm. That'll be tough. Yeah, yeah, nah, for sure. That I'm 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 sure they probably have something in the United States or uh, whatnot. If it, if there's anybody that would know, is this guy. So right. I'm sure they do have so many. How's it and welcome to Africa. It's been a long drive this morning hey. from the game reserve where I've spent an incredible few days Start on off safari. Off the but now we have a train to catch. We're warmly welcomed and our luggage is promptly collected. These will be delivered to our cabin later. The blue train departs from a private section of Pretoria Station. And yes, the there's train. even a red carpet. Ooh. A red well, carpet at the blue there, train. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> well, we're about to go and get on board the blue train. Behind me here is the dedicated check-in terminal. So without any more to say, let's go and get on board. That's tough. As there's still some time yeah, before boarding, uh... we're invited to relax in the lounge with the other passengers. There's plenty of comfy chairs to kick back in, along with that much-needed caffeine hit. What's more, All there's right, some live boy. music to accompany the final formalities we must complete before our tickets are issued. So yeah. what exactly is the Blue Train? Well, it's a service rooted in history and okay. dates back to the 1920s. Back then, the train acted as a vital link from Pretoria down to Cape Town for the Union Castle steamers bound for Southampton. In the late 1930s, oh, just about to say that stuff. the Blue the steel train. coaches built in England <laughs> and painted in blue, and therefore the Blue Train was born. That's funny. Should we go and see what it's like then? Our butler is ready to escort us to our carriage. We're led out onto the platform. Spirits are high and everyone is excited with lots of photos being taken and smiles all around. Oh yeah, damn. Hey. Let's get on board then and find out just how luxurious hey, this it out. is. Hey, for We're in car seven towards the rear of the train. There are just three luxury suites per carriage. We're in room 24 today. And just hmm. before we explore this incredible train from the observation car to the bath, it's time for a quick word from today's video sponsor. Hey. With all my travels comes a lot of downtime at the station, airport or cruise terminal. But what better way to ending some 60 hours later in Cape Town? You skipped too much. <laughs> Right, so we're well on our way, but I think it's time that we take a proper look around our cabin. I say R though, because there's something which actually Dad doesn't know. Uh oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it's a good thing, I promise. So this is a twin cabin, of course. You might have assumed it's uh, for us both to share. However, yeah, cosy. Exactly. However, this is the luxury cabin. It's the best one on the train. But I've actually booked another room a few oh, down, which yeah. is one of the other suites. Not quite as nice, but it means you've got this space to yourself. Fantastic. There you go. You can order <laughs> all the champagne you want to your room on this. Yeah, and I will. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so Dad's in room 24, otherwise known as a luxury suite. And it's large for a train at 120 Ew. square foot. Damn. During the day, the suite offers two comfy armchairs in place of the bed, which will be turned down later this evening. There's quite the array of amenities, ranging from a direct line to your butler available 24-7, a dressing table with vanity mirror, spacious wardrobe, and a TV. There's also a large ensuite bathroom, complete with a bath, copious amounts of Italian marble, and gold-plated taps. More on this later. Okay, yeah, nah, dude. Let's give Dad a chance to settle in and head down the train oh, to my deluxe suite, one car along. I've been assigned room 21, so let's take a look inside. Oh, like At 90 square foot, small it's a apartment. third smaller than the luxury suite, but it's right. still more than enough space for me. Just like Dad's room, these comfy armchairs will be transformed into a sumptuous bed this evening. Look at the view, bro. There's also a Netflix-ready yeah. TV and a spacious wardrobe. There are two key differences, though, are the lack of a dressing table and a shower rather than a bath. Aside from that, still very nice. Oh, that's good. Anyway, now I'm going to unpack, get my stuff all sorted, because shortly it's going to be time for dinner and our first experience of food on the blue train. That's good, bro. I'll hold you. Now, dinner I thought of a movie, bro. It's quite a fancy affair. Mm. And gentlemen are required. What movie? Like, all the, they on the train and all that, all the rich people on the train enjoying themselves. And then uh, all of the rogue animals of Africa start to attack the train and they get stuck. <laughs> and they got to figure out how to get out of it and back to the station alive um, as the animals are trying to kill them off one by one. <laughs> it's like the train version of the Titanic. But so far you on a train, bro. <laughs> Just to get there down. You, know, you already got a you already got a title, bro. See what I'm saying? So far you on the train. <laughs> to wear the jacket. Now, thankfully, I've brought one with me because well, the NASA jumper is not gonna work this evening. Alright, my boy getting dapper. Yeah. Let's lock up then, collect dad, and head for dinner. The dining car is located towards the front of the hey, train the and offers right two real. sittings join meal service. <laughs> We've opted for the later sitting of 7.30 this evening. Let's kick things off by taking a look at the menu. Do bear in mind this is an all-inclusive train including all booze. Oh, okay. I look loud, bro. Damn. Now, I'm not a huge wine drinker, Elephant. so choose what? the GNT, which is suitably strong. To start, Dad chooses the green tea cured salmon, whereas I go for the rice noodle salad dressed with ginger, soy, and roasted sesame seeds. Whilst a tad messy to eat, it's delicious. It's at this point that the train's resident saxophonist treats us to a performance. Hey. Oh, that's live. Whilst our next course, the roast roast pumpkin food. soup is served. <laughs> Oh, so where's the rest of it? Some soft yeah. jazz later, and we're on to our mains. Dad has the pan-fried line fish, which is served with a warm salad. And I go for the lamb noisette, served to my preference of medium. Okay. I must say so far, a noisy I'm really lamb? impressed with the caliber of dining on the what? It's a noisy lamb. You stupid. Lamb noisette. We close <laughs> dessert and cheeses. Though being quite full, we opt just for the dark chocolate brownie, with a ginger creme on glaze, or, well, ginger custard to you and I. They eat fancy, fancy, bro. Right. I'd still be hungry. <laughs> With yeah, it yeah. out of the way, let's stagger up the train to the club car. This is positioned as a private social club. Ooh. Here you can enjoy a selection of cognacs, mm -hmm. or even a Cuban cigar, Ooh. all complimentary, of course. Oh, mm, all Neither right. dad or I okay. smoke, so instead opt for a scotch and a cognac. Yeah, I like that. We're both actually surprised that no one else seems to have discovered this after-dinner sanctuary. Oh. But I guess it's still quite the novelty having this all to ourselves. Let's go. I'll be in there. So yeah, pops. <laughs> well, well, welcome boy, back boy. to my room. Boy. You need to be seeing this. It's it's been the lamb was begging for his life. Hit. Yeah, I saw that. That's that's. No. No. <laughs> Noise it. Turn down for bed. 
It's been an amazing first day on board this incredible train. So let's just get ready for bed then and get that sleep in, ready for more adventures tomorrow on the rails. We can't hear you. What'd you say? The next day. When you're on the video talk, we can't hear you. Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Good morning from Kimberley. We've arrived at our first stop some 350 miles from Pretoria. It's a beautifully sunny day, so let's get up and get ready. The amount of time he got to do set him up. Okay, first yeah. things first, it's time to try out the shower. And I want to make the most of the fact that we're not moving, because I don't know if you've showered before in a moving vehicle, but it is quite the challenge. I've been fortunate to try yeah. out quite a few showers on the rails, including the Creme de la Creme Orient Express. Ah, but this is certainly up there. Oh, what was that other? Right. Oh. What, what, or, what express? Hold on. Hey, wait. What express did he say? That shit look fancy. I've been fortunate to try out quite a few showers on the rails, including the Creme de la Creme Orient Express. Whoa. Orient Express? God, bro, look at that. You can stay in there. Hey. Bro, oh, that's looking like raisins sitting in that shower bro. all day. Dog, that's it come with the 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 robe and that. Oh yeah, drinks. yeah. Oh, the boy. aesthetic is definitely. Yeah, like, where is that at for show? But this is certainly the up Orient. there. Strong okay. pressure, okay. consistent temperature, and plenty of space. Unlike, sorry, Amtrak. I do love you, really. <laughs> Much better. Right, let's Transition. head over to the dining car for breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast is a slightly different affair to dinner, with a light buffet selection of pastries and fruits, along with an extensive a la carte menu served at your table. I like that. That breakfast is good. Right. Giraffe muffins. <laughs> let's get started with a caffeine hit in the form of a filter coffee. I like he keep the Dad NASA goes drip for the on. omelette, whilst I go for the French toast, complete with caramelized banana and maple syrup. To be frank, I've been spoiled in the US as this French toast fell short of my expectations. Hey, no, but I hey, it did look uh, good. Hey, US, we, we we do some French toast real good. We we. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we not even French. Yeah, we not even French, but we we do some good French toast over here. Mm -hmm. Now, given it's the winter here in South Africa, the Southern Hemisphere and all that, I'll be needing a jacket for this morning's excursion. Don't let the beautiful sunshine fool you. It's absolutely freezing. Hell, Really? Don't you just love when you leave your socks tucked into your trousers? Mm. It's a solid look. <laughs> yes, We're now split up into small groups and taken by minibus for the short drive across town to one of the most famous landmarks in South Africa, Kimberley's Big Hole. Back in 1871, now you can take that the wrong way if you've never heard of it. Kimberley's Big Hole, all right. <laughs> so much space, everyone can go. A lot of room and opportunity. Kimberley's Big Hole. <laughs> Kimberly's, you say someone call you, your wife calls you. Hey, where you at? Oh, I'm at Kimberly's big hole. Wait, what? It's over. Yeah, Kimberly's big hole. She already took a flight. She's already on her way. Are you? Wanna you you want to come in her big hole too? Wait, no, it's it's an actual tourist site. No, no. Do, do, do. She already there somehow. Right. Already there. Diamonds so were discovered Africa. in Kimberley, and what began was a multi decade operation with over 50,000 miners digging by hand with picks and shovels, yielding nearly 3,000 kilograms of diamonds. Damn. That's the open pit I, filled yeah, partly with water we today know, we know is a major tourist attraction, diamonds. bringing many thousands to Kimberley from all over the world. They didn't get permission for that. As much as I'd love to explore more of Kimberley, we have a train to catch. Taking the train well, welcome back to the ball. blue train with Brandy Liqueurs, Ooh. fantastic crew, and of course, live music. They offer the drinks to get back on their train. That's wild. And you get tunes played for you. It's not long before we depart, bound for a further 36 hours of railroad travel. I 
guess that also means it's time for a bite to eat, seeing us back at our regular haunt, the dining car. That's loud, man. Yeah, this is no. In fact, he's lunch looks spectacular, but my word, I couldn't eat like this every day. To begin, we'd both go for the carrot soup, served with parsley oil and bread. I find it most impressive. They're able to consistently deliver high quality meals, traveling at speed, all in such a small kitchen. Damn. For main, dad has the wild mushroom linguine in a spiced arabiata sauce. Whilst I go for the roasted chicken supreme, served with sauteed oh, that's vegetables. That's a hyena both right there. Fabulous. <laughs> I've seen the leg. I was eating the cheese delivery. For dessert, we're yeah, off of the bro. honey and saffron cheesecake with coconut crumble. Sadly, I don't feel this worked particularly well, which is a shame, but not everything can be 10 out of 10. With lunch out of oh, the way, like it's it. time to check out. I'm not lie to you, that just looked like whipped cream, whipped cream with some shit on top of it. That's what that was, bro. Just made it a delicacy. I'm about to make a video on that shit, bro. <laughs> All that shit was whipped cream with extra fucking plants. Whip it, whip it the cream. Whip it the cream, eh? Man, that wasn't no damn cake. That was whipped cream, man. Yeah, that was definitely whipped cream, bro. Train's party piece, the observation car. That's it, whipped cream and cabbage. <laughs> right. I do believe the food is all in food, so. Ooh. Yeah. It's the perfect it spot for an afternoon yeah. drink to watch the world go by. And as you can see, we're not the only ones joining. I ain't gonna lie to you, we be lit on this train. Because yeah. all, all those drinks are uh, mostly complimentary. So we be, boy, we would be done <laughs> every oh, yeah. day. Because you can order as much as you want from your from your room. So, boy. Hey, but boo -boo uh, let me get, um. <laughs> boy, lit, nigga. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Give me three of this them. also marks the start of Cognets. our journey into the Karoo, a semi-desert region of South Africa. There's low rainfall here, typically with clear cloudless skies and extremes in temperature from great heat to frosts. It's also home to quite the variety so of wildlife. And prior to its extinction, the quagga was present here in great numbers. Whoa. Today you'll find springbok, zebra, and even black rhinos. All right, so look, this, this you know, I think is where the part of the movie where the could you can't you come on bro you see the vision bro they of course they gotta show you all the live stylish pieces to make the oohs and ahs to make you want to say i want to go on that and then when they get in that right country or that area where the animals start getting lit little shit start happening a little bird cracked the window or something flying at mock speed and he's like oh what's that what's going on i don't know keep traveling and then the animals just start fucking shit up. It's a good one, bro. I'm trying to tell you, fam. A bird traveling at mock speed, y'all. That's, <laughs> that's in the script. All right. I'm telling you, All right. Bro. I've seen crazy Just in time for afternoon tea. This is served in the lounge car, just along from our sleeping quarters. It's a lovely place to hang out with plenty of comfy chairs, free-flowing champagne, Ooh, caffeine hits, geez. or even a tipple of something a little stronger. Yeah, give me some of that strong stuff. <laughs> give, me too. give me all that. Actually. In terms of spread, there's a mix of quiche, finger sandwiches, with the highlight being the hey, cake. Be hey, goat on. blood over there. <laughs> hold on. You stupid. Can I get a Bloody Mary, yo? Got you. <laughs> In the real version. Man. Oh, on the like, spread, there's a good. mix of quiche, finger sandwiches. Oh, yeah, I'm here for it. You know, I love me some... You like cheeseburgers. Some, on the cool, like little mini cheeseburgers, little Outback burgers. Scone, <laughs> scone burgers. Yes. <laughs> all I like being the caramel cake. Now, I'd be lying if I said I didn't tuck into some. Boing. Ooh, now that look good. That look like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. time passes differently on the blue train. Its motto, after all, is to surrender to the luxury <laughs> of slow. And it's certainly something I'm enjoying. That Spending quality shit. time with my dad as we trundle across southern Africa. With only an overly competitive game of Monopoly deal to ruffle each other's feathers. I didn't know this was a thing. Okay, dad did win over all. What was He'd that? better forgive me if I didn't Monopoly deal. Up. I didn't know that was a game. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Hmm. Oh, they got champagne right there, bro. Well, we be lit. With Before the, we get too carried away, we yeah. time to head back to our respective yeah, cabins please. to change for dinner. Oh. As with last night, the dress code requires a jacket, so let's see what I can rustle up. Ooh. You put on your, your, your best yeah. kit back in a familiar setting. What does dinner have in store for us this evening? 
Wow, what a menu. And to top it all off, our saxophone friend is back in the building, or should I say carriage. Dad kicks us off with the cucumber and mint salad with an avocado mousse. What course, is that, bro? Is this, also, bro? I just have to go for the smoked it's spring worm carpaccio. It's an earthworm yeah. fucking mini salad. This is a first for me. It's a delicious super lean meat with strong venison flavors. Venison. For our mains, Dad has the pan-seared salmon with potato fondant, whilst I have the steak. Of course, it has to happen at some point on this trip. They be eating some bullshit, bro. Like, I got to eat an some ribs on that whole yams. On to dessert. They really are loving oh, this deconstruction dessert no, pudding. Bar, right? Thankfully, it's significantly pudding. better than the previous dessert at lunch. <laughs> With dinner out of the way, let's go and wind down in the lounge car. However, it appears the party is just getting started. It's jazz Ooh. night. Jazz night? So let's get the scotch poured, sit back, and enjoy the show. That's a vibe, bro. Yeah. Be drunk as hell. <laughs> go back to the room. It's a little ass bed, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, that's the other bed. I think, uh, I think his dad has the bigger room. Yeah. The next day. We've made solid progress during the night and about to pass through Micah's Fontaine. Originally a small depot and farm, Scotsman James Douglas Logan bought land here in 1884 and opened a refreshment station for passing trains. This flourished into a small town and today acts as a time capsule to Victorian era South Africa. In fact, I've actually been here previously when I took Rovos Rail last what year. What else did he buy? Sadly, we're just passing through today. Hey, what? I'm fed up now. <laughs> I make it time for breakfast, served as if by clockwork in the dining car. Let's take our usual seat and have a peek at this morning's menu. <laughs> Egg Benedict, French toast, a bowl of oats. Hold on, so you can through today in the car. The muffins look alright. Let's take our usual seat and have a peek at this morning's menu. Yeah, no, the muffins do look good. All right, so we got bacon and cheese, omelet, omelets. Oh, okay, bowl yeah, of, yeah, bowl of oats. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. What's that, Brian Camel? <laughs> oh, okay. That's gone for the scrambled eggs, whereas I've chosen an almost full English breakfast. Okay. With the shades on. Yeah. With breakfast out of the way, it's time to try something I've been looking forward to all trip taking a bath on a moving train. This is a facility only available in the luxury suites. So thanks dad for allowing me to use his bathroom. Bro, but this really had to be tried. That hoe is live, bro. A whole ass bathroom. Yeah. As the bath runs, we'll take a quick look around the rest of this bathroom. It's around double the size of mine. Been using that toilet paper. Gold plated taps and Italian marble everywhere. Yeah. That's live. Right, let's give this a try then. What could possibly go wrong? It's exactly as I thought. <laughs> a real novelty, but the water is sloshing around everywhere. Hey, yeah. you, can you really beat a mid-morning DC in the tub watching the world go by? I think you're drinking some wine in the tub. <laughs> Fancy. Fancy me this. <laughs> Somebody said no wash rag. <laughs> well, I'm happy to welcome you to Worcester. Have you been here before, Dad? No, never in my life. So we've actually got uh, an unscheduled stop here. They need to top up the water. Schedule. Um, it's used for the likes of showers and baths, and of course also how they cook our food. Um, so we're going to be here for about an hour, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's go and have a look around the station. Let's poke yeah, about and see what we can uh, find. Let's get excited, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hell As no, stated, that sign don't look like you should be walking around. Train, but who that are we ain't... not? That ain't a walking around sign. Sign. That's that's not a walking around sign. <laughs> I look like some bit that motherfucker off. To seize the opportunity to stretch our legs and explore. <laughs> There's even a chance for us to view the changing of our locomotive. Ready for our final stretch. We're notified lunch will be served shortly, so let's head back inside. When we have a See, brainwave, so it... why not utilize the butler service to enjoy lunch in our suite? Unfortunately, there wasn't much in the way of options, but I'm not going to complain getting room service on a train. Yeah, With our orders placed, I think it's time to try out the TV. Something to be frank, we've not even thought of until now. With particularly slow Wi-Fi on board, wow. I can only assume that many of the Netflix titles have been downloaded locally, as there's no way the connection could support it otherwise. Mm. 
a little ass TV. We don't have too long yeah. to wait for lunch. With no menu provided, it's more of a guessing game. But Dad goes for the fish dish with potatoes on, and baby carrots. Oh. Whereas go back to that fork. You stupid, bro. For lunch, with no menu provided, it's more of a guessing game. And this is where I would have asked for a plasticware. <laughs> I do that for real, bro. If you ever see me at a yeah. restaurant, I look at the silverware. You like, got to, bro. I'll study that motherfucker. And if you, you got if, it to, man. if it ain't looking like how it's supposed to, uh, can I get some uh, plasticware? Yeah, for the, yeah. For the whole table? Yeah, um, game. But dad goes for the fish dish with potatoes and baby carrots, whereas I have the beef stew served with steamed rice. Both are tasty, but certainly not the best meal of our trip. As if by cue, the train lurches forwards and finally out of Worcester Station. Perfect timing for our dessert the caramel sponge cake served with custard. Camel knees. <laughs> And now it's time to sit back and enjoy some of the most spectacular scenery of the entire trip. That is. That's Beautiful. Up. Yeah. Visual. Yeah, that's hard. That's good. Being not so far Peter, from Cape uh, Town, unfortunately, our, it's time to pack our bags. The bags, you know, the, the screensaver, that looked like yeah. a it's, it's been one incredible trip on the blue train, but I'm sure most of you are wondering, how much was yeah. this? So, as you know, I booked two rooms. First, the luxury suite for Dad, which was 55,000 Rand, or, well, just under $3,000. Wow! That's not bad. Damn, so, shit, if you got a few thousand, you really up over there. Damn! Tax season coming up, you know you what I'm saying? All I saw was 55, and then a, another decimal, like some more numbers, like, God yeah. damn. But then when you convert it over, that's actually not that bad, bro. That's not. That's not bad. And my slightly smaller suite, the Deluxe, priced so at 43,000 Rand, or so $2,200. 2, that's not so bad. Good. Hi Somebody there, said. and uh, welcome to Cape Town. So, uh, how'd you find the trip then, William? It, uh, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, you enjoyed it, we did had, you? We had a really good laugh, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, I'm exhausted as ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching and coming along with us. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we'll catch you all again next time. Download Toon Blast for free using my link in the description. He was able to take his dad on a dope trip like yeah, that. Yeah, nah, bro, that's lit, that, oh, that's, that's tough, bro. Yeah, bro, it can't and be stuff really like that. Yeah, that wasn't even really that pricey for yeah, no. 22 hours on a train. All, all the food, even though it ain't, you know, yeah. the, the you know, like proportion, right? But all the mm -hmm. food, but the drinks though, the drinks, oh, you can have at it. You can literally have at it, bro. That's what you paying for. Yeah, that's you paying for the drinks and the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> and the Man, London and to get away and just to kind of yeah. embrace what's going on around you. Ooh, I'd yeah. be drunk looking at the mountains. <laughs> like, damn, bro. <laughs> I made it. I made it, bro. South Africa. Cheers. You know, you're chilling. <laughs> then a bloody lion start running your way. You like, fuck. Nah, I'm be inside him. Watch this shit from the from the, the, the car. That's where the, that's where the movie starts. <laughs> it's the good part. But no, oh, uh, this is live. If y'all enjoyed it, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you hit the likes, subscribe. Let us know if y'all want us to check out some more of these to show right. you how broke we are. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can all dream together. You feel me? But we love right. you guys. Keep on spreading love, being love, man. We catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.